In this problem, we're asked about a rotating hard drive platter, and we're solving for a few different things in each part of the problem. The first part of the problem asks us to find the angular velocity of the platter in radians per second. Now, we're actually already given the angular velocity of the platter, 7200, but we're given it in revolutions per minute. We want to find it in radians per second. So this first part of the problem is going to be a simple unit conversion issue. So first, I'm going to convert from revolutions into radians using the conversion factor that one revolution is equal to two pi radians. This will cancel the revolutions out and convert it into radians. Next, I'm going to convert from minutes into seconds using the factor that one minute is equal to 60 seconds. So this time the minutes cancel out and it'll be replaced with seconds. If we put this into our calculator, we find an angular velocity of about 753.98 radians per second. You might be expected to round this down to two significant figures. So you might be expected to write an answer like 750 radians per second. Either answer works though. So I'm gonna go with the one with more information, since it'll prove to be more useful to us in the later part of the problem. Part B asks us to find the linear speed of a point on the hard drive. So if we're looking at the platter uh, as an aerial view, then the point that we're looking at is going to be at some radial distance r from the center of where the platter spins. So the formula we have for linear speed, you can find this in any textbook, is that the linear speed is equal to the radial distance from the center that we're looking at times the angular velocity of the thing rotating. So the problem tells us that the reading head of the drive is positioned at three centimeters from the axis of rotation. So R in this case is going to be those three centimeters or converting into meters three times 10 to the power of negative 2 meters, since that's how we convert something from centimeters into meters. And then we multiply that by the angular velocity, which we found in part A. Be sure to use the version of it that I squared, because that'll contain more digits, and it'll be more likely to get you the, uh, the actual correct answer within whatever number of significant figures you're using. If you put this into your calculator, you find a linear speed of about 22, 0.62 meters per second. I would also like to apologize for the fact that I've got loud, loud college students in the other room. Enjoy the sounds. They have no idea that you're hearing all of them talk about their secrets right now. But, but yes, but that is the linear speed for the, for the platter. The final part of the problem asks us to find the number of bits per second being read at this point. So we've already found the speed. So all we got to do is take that speed, uh, the speed we found being 22.62 meters per second, and take into account the fact that the problem tells us that one bit is read in a length of 0.5 microseconds. So this will be kind of like a unit conversion sort of thing here. Where, we'll, where we will convert from meters to bits. So 0 0.5 times 10 to the power of negative six meters is equal to one bit. So if you put that into our calculator, we find about 4.5 times 10 to the power of seven bits per second. So that is how many bits are being read each second by this reader. And that's it for this problem. I hope this video helped you out. If it did, please consider subscribing as that'll help me make more videos like this. If you have a question about this video, leave a comment down below and I'll do my best to help you out as best as I can. If you have a request for a future video or you would just like to hang out, my Discord server is linked in the description down below as well as my Twitch page. So feel free to check those out if you'd like. But that's all for this video. So I hope you all have a lovely night. Bye-bye.